Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In light of the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian, we thought in today's episode we would go over what exactly are Mandalorians. Mandalorians are a human clan-based people from the planet Mandalore in the Outer Rim and its moon Concordia. They are known amongst the galaxy as legendary warriors, especially against the Jedi. They were also known to ride mythosaurs, and even prior to the formation of the Old Republic, war dominated their way of life. Eventually, the war way of life turned to dreams of expansions, and a group of Mandalorian warriors, known as the Crusaders, began waging war against other people to conquer their worlds. Armor-clad and wielding swords, the Crusaders lay waste to many worlds during their wars. They colonized worlds such as Calavella, Crown Nest, and Concord Dawn. Mandalorian expansion eventually came to the attention of the Jedi Order and the Old Republic they protected. This initiated a long-standing conflict between the Jedi and the Mandalorians, who were taken by surprise by the Jedi's use of the Force and the powers it gave them. The Mandalorians chose to rise to the challenge and advance their own technology to try and overcome the Jedi. This resulted in advancements to their weaponry, fighting style, and their infamous armor. While their long-standing conflicts were almost always continually ongoing, there were times when the Jedi and the Mandalorians were not clashing. An example of this was when Mandalorian Tari Vizsla was inducted into the Jedi Order. True to his Mandalorian ways, Tari Vizsla would go on to develop the infamous Darksaber and would go on to become the Mandalore, the sole leader of Mandalore. Following his death, the Jedi recovered the Darksaber and returned it to the temple on Coruscant. Mandalorians later honored him by building a large statue of him on Mandalore to cement his legacy. The Darksaber would eventually be stolen by the Mandalorians, specifically of House Vizsla, who would use it to conquer Mandalore and unite its houses. While Mandalore had a largely fighting history, since the Mandalorian Civil War, pacifist, neutral, and non-violent sentiment began to emerge. Despite decades of peace, conflict continued between the new Mandalorian government, who wanted non-violence, and factions such as the Death Watch, who believed Mandalore should return to its warrior ways. This eventually led to another civil war that led to Gar Saxon becoming Viceroy of Mandalore and the overall oppression of the Mandalorians under Imperial rule. Clan Saxon eventually would be defeated and the Mandalorian resistance was formed, beginning another civil war as part of the galaxy-wide struggle against the Empire. After the fall of the Empire and the rise of the New Republic, some Mandalorians went into hiding following the Empire's great purge of the Mandalorians. One such group was called the Tribe, who hid in the Enclave on Navarro, but were forced to relocate after openly defending one of their own. This is depicted in Episode 3 of The Mandalorian. Mandalorian clan-based culture was structured like a pyramid. The Mandalore, or ruler, would be at the top, with protectors enforcing their rule. Below them were political factions known as houses that were made up of family clans. Mandalorian armor was a mainstay of Mandalorian culture and a source of great pride amongst Mandalorians. It was easily identifiable with its honeycomb plate patterns and T-shaped visors. The armor was packed with tools such as jetpacks, magnetized boots, and armed gauntlets. Some of these tools not only helped in combat, but were designed to actually mimic Jedi abilities. Their armor had a reputation that was feared across the galaxy. Mandalorians typically use Westar 35 blaster pistols. Mandalorians were also known for their advanced combat training that became their distinctive combat style once they started having conflicts with the Jedi. Their style involved a Mandalorian warrior utilizing a mix of melee, ranged, and hand-to-hand -hand techniques, all while incorporating the technology of their armor. This style of combat can be seen numerous times by Mando in The Mandalorian. And there you have it. Thanks for watching everyone. What did you think about this information on Mandalorians? Do you know anything else about them? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.